Greetings, deeply loved children of God. Welcome to Storytime with Pastor Maureen. I am Pastor Maureen Howard of Emmanuel Lutheran Church, and as I do with each story time, I greet you with great joy as we come together to read the stories from the Bible. And now we're reading stories pertaining to the season of Advent, the season of waiting with great joy and expectation and hope for celebrating Jesus's birthday, Christmas. That's right, it's just around the corner, it's next week. And so we wait in Advent to celebrate the birth of Jesus. But Advent is also a time where we specifically remember that we are waiting for Jesus to return to us. And so as we count down to Christmas, we are reading stories from the Advent Storybook, 25 Bible stories showing why Jesus came. And this book is Richard, written by Laura Ritchie and illustrated by Ian Dale. So today's Advent waiting story is Shepherd and King. And this is from 1 Samuel chapter 16 and 17 and 2 Samuel chapter 7. But first, let's read Psalm 23, the first verse. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. That's right. Well, let's read Shepherd and King. David was the great grandson of Ruth and Boaz. David took care of sheep and he provided food and water for them, kept them safe from other animals, found them if they got lost, and brought them back home. One day, an important man of God named Samuel visited David's family to choose the next king of Israel. God chose David. David the youngest son, to be the next king. The Bible says, And the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon David from that day forward. And that can be found in 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 13. God was with David, protecting him and giving him what he needed, just like a shepherd. Later, the Israelites were fighting people uh, uh, against people called the Philistines. One Philistine was a giant named Goliath. He kept saying that he was stronger than God's people. And he wanted to fight all of the Israelites were afraid. But not David. He knew that God was his shepherd. He knew God would help him win so that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. And that's from chapter 17, verse 46. When Goliath saw David, <laughs> he laughed. David was so young and little. But David said, You come to me with a sword and with a spear and with a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. And that's verse, and that's verse 45. David knew it didn't matter how strong he was because God would help and protect him. And God did. Goliath was defeated. David became king of Israel. He tried to love God and help his people to do the same. But he made many mistakes. Just like everybody else. But God made a promise to David. God promised 
your house and your kingdom shall be made sure forever before me. Your throne shall be established forever. And that's from 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 16. One day, another shepherd and king would come from David's family. This king would rule forever. And this shepherd would protect us forever. Well, let's look at the picture. And here you can see David is just a young boy. Here he is right here. And look at this. There's a big frightening bear. And he's going to attack all of the sheep. But David is a good shepherd. And look, he's got a slingshot. And in that pocket, he's got a rock. And he's going to swirl it around and around and around over his head. And the rock will go flying and will hit the bear. And the bear will run away or the bear will die. And J David will have saved his flock from harm. Well, that's exactly how David defeated Goliath. God gave him the courage and the strength and he took his slingshot and he put rocks in it and he swirled it around his head and he let it go. And the rock, not a spear, not a sword, but a rock hit Goliath in the head and knocked him down dead. So children of God, it doesn't matter how big or strong you are or how little and tiny you are. God uses all of us to take care of everybody. And so the author, Laura Ritchie asks, one day another shepherd and king would come to, from David's family. This king would rule forever and this shepherd would protect us forever. Do you know who that king is that comes from David's family? Do you know? Oh, you are so smart. You are right. It's King Jesus. Yes, King Jesus is Lord of Lord, Kings of Kings, and he is our protector, just like a good shepherd. So again, Laura asks the question, who protects you and gives you what you need? Who protects you? Who buys your clothes? Who buys your food and keeps you warm? Moms and dads, grandmas and grandpas? That's right. And God provides all of that for mamas and papas and grandmas and grandpas and you and me. For God is our great protector. Deeply loved children of God, you are wanted, you are treasured, and you are loved. So let's, on the count of three, say, Jesus loves me. Are you ready? One, two, three. Jesus loves me. That's right, Jesus loves you. But we know that Jesus also loves everybody in the world, everybody. And so let's, on the count of three, say, Jesus loves our neighbors too. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus loves our neighbors too. Yes, Marion and Raphael and Angel, God says to you, you are precious and honored in my sight. And Marion and Harriet and Ken and Clara God says to you, you are treasured in my hands and I am protecting you. So deeply loved children of God, know that you are deeply loved, deeply wanted, and deeply treasured. You are loved by God. So have a grateful day today. And if you are reading this as, or listening to this as a story time for your, your bed, well then know you sleep well, for God 
is with you. I'll see you again tomorrow, 10 a.m., for another story time with Pastor Maureen as we continue to read the stories of Advent. Have a grateful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. Remember, you are loved.